Yo, what's up guys, it's Suisuke here, and I'm finally here with my anime and manga collection. So yeah, let's get right into it. Really excited to do this video, guys. Now first, let's start off with the figures. We got this, uh, Misaka prize figure, a Kagami back there, also got some posters over there, Kuruko and Basket, Almina right there, got the Nindroids, Seiba, Shiro, and Toka uh, got a Rin there, and that little chibi figure is someone from Amnesia, pretty sure. Kuruka, and we got Onodera. Alright, to anime collection, I have got Fate Zero right there. Um, both parts, both parts. Yep. Put that to the side. I got Guilty Crown. Only the first part though. Only got the first part of Guilty Crown. So yeah. And then I got some like phone straps of Naruto and Sasuke. Got um the Blue Exorcist Collector's Edition. While technically not really Collector's Edition. Because like New Zealand. The Collector's Editions are just like. They come off the DVD and then just the box set, so yeah. For this I only have um, part 1 of the Blu-rays, Blue Exorcist. So yeah. And then I got Face Day Night Unlimited Blade Works. This is a uh, Australian release, so it has the whole first season, which is pretty cool. So where we got that, and then I got um, the Sword Art Online 2 Limited Edition. Also only comes with the second part, so I need to get the first part, I haven't gotten it yet. Next up, Blu-rays, we got... Uh, Engage to the Unidentified. Uh, Good Luck Girl, or Bimbogami. Bimbogamiga. We got the Naruto Shippuden Blood Prison movie. Sorry if I'm shaking a lot, guys. Uh, Pula Magi Madoka Magica, the first part. We got Sora Online, the first part of Volume 1, and we also got a get The Girl Who Lived Through Time, the movie. And then onto the DVDs, we have 5 centimeters per second, uh, Bleach Season 3, Bleach the movie, the first movie, Memories of Nobody, Car Cap the Sakura, the movie. Case closed. Really happy of this. I got this through second hand, so I was really happy with that. And I got it really cheap. Season 4. We got Gunslinger Girl. Haven't Still haven't watched it yet. We got How the Movie. Pretty good movie, I guess. Pretty good. Not too bad. The Disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya. Uh, the Whole of Honey and Clover. Uh, my Teen Romantic Comedy, or Snafu, really good, really good. Master of Martial Hearts, I regret buying this because it's so bad, but yeah, we still got it, regret buying this so bad. And Michiko and Hachin collect the, like, the second part. This is double, double layered, so I'll take this out first, and I'll get back to you guys, so yeah, see you in a bit, guys. Alright guys, and we're back. So, behind that, that part of the shelf, I guess, we have the first part Naruto, part, uh, well, collection for 6, 8, 10, Naruto vs Sasuke, really good fight, a classic, uh, 14 and 16, and then we got Naruto Shippuden, collection 2, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 13. I don't know if I wanted to get any more because they're really expensive here. So, yeah, and it's, I feel, I'm pretty sure the collections are already up to like 20 something. So, yeah. Then we got the movies. We got the first Naruto movie, uh, the second one, Naruto Shippuden Bonds, and the third one, Naruto Shippuden Will of Fire. And then down here, hopefully you guys can see that. We have Naruto Shippuden, The Lost Tower, the 4th movie, and Road to Ninja Naruto movie, which is the 6th movie. And the 5th movie I already showed you guys, which was the Blu-ray. 
Next up, we got Noane. Don't know if you guys have heard that before. Only got it because I found it really cheap in my local retail shop. Anime retail shop, so yeah. It was a pretty good watch, actually. Pretty good. And then we got um, the movie Oblivion Island, Haruka, Haruka and the Magic Mirror. Decent movie, decent movie. Then we got One Piece Collection 1. One Piece, the movie, the first one, Adventures in Alabasta. And then we got One Piece Film Z, pretty good. Soul Eater Collection 3, haven't watched that yet, I just got it because it was really cheap. Uh, Rosario plus Vampire, the collection. And then we have Spice and Wolf Season 1 collection, don't know if I'm going to get Season 2 yet. And then we got Steins Gate. And then back there we just got some games, some anime games like Naruto and stuff like that. And then down here we just have a blank shelf for more anime I guess when I get more. So yeah, that's my anime collection. And on to the manga collection I guess. Actually no, I'll first show you this because I'll get this out of the way. Down here we have um, the Naruto collection or box set free. Which is pretty nice. I got uh, all of the Naruto volume 49 all up until the last volume 72. It's pretty good and then we got this bonus story right here and we got a poster there. So which was pretty nice. So yep. And then over here the art. Really good art, Sasuke Rinnegan, really cool. So yep, got that. Oh yeah, the front, Naruto, the side, Sakura, and then the, hopefully you guys can see that, the side, Sasuke. So yep, and now onto the manga, manga collection. So we first have the unofficial Hatsune mix. Which is like, just filled of like, short stories of like, the Vocaloids, Hatsune Miku, uh, Luka, Rin and Rin, or Lin, Lin and Rin, Rin, Lin and Rin, yeah Lin and Rin, sorry about that guys, pretty bad at my Vocaloids, and Meiko and Kaito, so like, short stories of them right there. Next up we have A Silent Voice, just did a manga haul on that, read it after the video. Really good. Expect uh, more hauls with that, with a silent voice. Planning to complete it quite soon because it's a pretty short um series, only seven volumes. So hopefully I can complete that. And then we got Parasite Volume One to Four. See that? Don't know if I want to. Um, like it's not really my priority right now. But I really want to uh, finish it, really, because it's only 8 volumes, and I'm like, this is like the reprinted version, so I don't know if it's going to be out of stock soon, maybe, I'm not sure. But I got 1, 2, 4 for that. Decent read. Watch the anime as well. Prefer the anime more, though, because um, it's like, the manga is like the old style, like the art is like the old style, so which is pretty cool. So yeah, we got 1, 2, 4, 7 Deadly Sins, Volume 1... And then we have Yamanakun and the Seven Witches. Really good read. Shiraishi Best Girl. Yep. Really good read right here. Recommend if you haven't read it, you really should. <laughs> so yeah, all watched it. But I recommend the manga more. Next up, and then we got um, 4 and 5. So 1 through 5 of Yamanakun and the Seven Witches. We have Your Lion April. Don't know if I want to get uh, any more of that because the art doesn't really like do the anime justice like if you want to um read or watch your line april I, I suggest you go watch the anime because it's a lot better like the music and stuff and the art don't really like the art in this but yeah and then we got citrus volume one a yuri first ever yuri i only got it because people said that it was like a really good story i guess so i decided to get that Toradora Volume 1, Ajin Volume 5, don't worry about that, I'm planning to get the first full volume soon, so yep. A Girl on the Shore by Inu Asano, one shot, 
one shot. Really good story, actually. Really good. So I got that. Kizu Monogatari Wound Tailed by Nisi Osen, the, like the Monogatari series. So we got that by Vertical. It's a night novel, but I haven't really like finished it yet. I'm only up to chapter 5. So yeah, gotta get reading to that. Oh, gotta finish that soon, I mean. So yeah, we got Dogs Volume 3. I only got that because it was really cheap at my local bookstore. So yeah. And then we got Tokyo Ghoul 1, 2, and 3. And then following that, down here we have Volume 4, 5, and 6. And right here we got this um I Can't Make a Kill Cup, which I got from Armageddon, which is pretty sick. Just keep it here for like the displays and stuff. So yeah. Next up we have Assassination Classroom, Blue Exorcist, Food Wars or Shokugeki no Soma, Volume 1 through to 8 over here. Really good series, I enjoyed it. Like, even though at the beginning it's like all food gags and stuff, but then like, as it progresses it actually starts getting really good, so yeah. Food Wars Volume 1 through 8, and then over here we have Volume 9, and then Haiku Volume 1, Kimini Todoke Volume 3 and 10, just random volumes because I found it cheap, Magi Volume 1, and then Sakure, oh no, Sakura Hime Volume 5, got it because it was really cheap, and then down here we have my CD collection, sorry about that glare, I got my light right there, so we have the Killer Kill um, opening to Ambiguous, and I got this signed by the English dub voice actor, which was pretty cool, by um, Erica Mendes, which is pretty nice. And then behind this, we have my CD collection. Aima Brave Shine, the Face Day Night Unlimited Blade Works opening 2. I don't know if you can see that. Kisetsuwa something, I don't know, the Tokyo Ghoul, Tokyo Ghoul Route A, Route A, um, ending, um, the Ashita wa Kimi Talk, the one you saw in my anime CD unboxing, you got Ideal White, um, by Mashiro Ayano, which is the Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works, Opening one, I think. I think it is. We got um, Shigatsuwa Kiminosa or Your Line April's opening two. Ignite, uh, Sora Online two opening, Goose House, Hikaru Nara, Best opening. I'm uh, like one of my favorite openings, really good. Um, Your Line April's opening. We also have Courage, which is the Sora Online two. Second opening, we got the Honeyworks, Ginahito, uh, Ring Your Bell, which is the Fate Stay Night Limited Blayworks ending one, I think. To the beginning, uh, I'm pretty sure this is the Fate Zero opening two. Lisa Rally Go Round, hopefully you guys can see that. Which is Nisekoi second season. So opening, and we also have the Love Live opening, first one. We have the uh, Tokyo Guru A opening, Unravel, everyone knows this, Tokyo Ghoul opening. We have the Twin Star Exorcist opening and ending. Uh, Shigatsu Akim no Uso or Yolan April soundtrack. Nisekoi best song, so it's just like a variety of Nisekoi songs opening endings, and then we got some other soundtracks in there. And then the Sora Online music collection. And then continuing on with our manga collection, we have Magi Volume 2 and 3, continuing off Volume 1. <coughs> My Hero Academia Volume 1 to 3. My Love Story Volume 1 to 2. Nise Koi, Volume 1, 2 to 7, and then over here we have, hopefully you guys can see that, the glare is pretty insane, 8, 9, 10, 11, pretty nice, I really like the series, that's why I got so much of it, 
But I haven't been picking up recently, so I'm just gonna slowly try and collect it. So yeah. Then we have Nura, Rise of the Yokai Clan, four, five, and six. And then right here we have the Kimi no Nawa soundtrack. And then over here at the end we have One Punch Man, Volume One, Two, Three, and Four. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Yon of the Dawn, Volume One. The ReZero Manga Volume 1 and 2 and then our final volume we have is Sora Online Progressive And then down here we just got some uh, anime magazines and then over here we have some art books Don't know if you guys can see that, I'll just try and show you guys Some anime art books, so yeah that's my that's my favourite one Hope you can see that, but probably not so yeah, we got some art material and art books of that. Alright guys, just a, a big shot of my collection. I know it's not too big like other YouTubers, but I'm going to slowly be collecting more. I'm planning to get a few more shelves up in here because uh, I really have like no more space in these shelves as you can see. So, yeah, planning to move some stuff away and gonna be installing a few more shelves there so I can um, get my manga and anime collection a lot bigger. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.